श्री कृष्ण चैतन प्रभु नितानंद श्री अद्वैत करा शिव श्री गौर भक्त में की जाए श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोप गोपीनाथ श्याम कुंद्रार कुंद गिर गौरान की जाए श्री वृंदावन धाम की जाए नवदीप माय पोडाम की जाए श्री जमुन माय घंग माय भक्ति देवी तुलसी देवी की जाए शिल प्रभुपाद की जाए गौर प्रभनंद हरि बहु अगौर जे सौंदोतीस अगौर जे सौंदोतीस अगौर दे सौंदोतीस जय श्री श्री गुरु एंड गौरंगा so they've asked me to give class on the topic of govardhan puja archita prabhu was supposed to give class but due to extended circumstances he won't be able to give class this morning uh and immediately following the class this will be not just not a regular bhagavatam class but a class on govardhan puja and immediately following class we will worship govardhan puja like the residents of vrindavan circumambulating the hill and i think ultimately distributing prasadam om namo bhagavate vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya So this is Krishna book uh the worship of Lord Indra and the lifting of Govardhan hill when indra every year the residents of vrindavan would worship indra in a ceremony called anukuta uh because indra is giving the rains that produce the grains that produce that give uh life to the cows and the residents of vrindavan so they were worshiping the demigod indra in bhagavad gita it's not recommended to worship demigods it's recommended yasmin to stay jagat to stam that worship krishna and all of his parts and parcels uh become satisfied but indra being a little bit puffed up thinking that he was the king of heaven of course he was the king of heaven but thinking that that was a big deal i'm the sankirtan leader i'm the best cook in the kitchen i'm a wonderful pujari i'm the best cleaner of the temple sometimes this false ego can get in the way of our devotional service it's known as the last snare of a uh, materialistic life the last snare of problem in devotional service so indra had this problem he was thinking yes everyone should just worship me but krishna as a 7 year old boy asked nanda maharaj why are you doing this indra puja we shouldn't in be engaged in worshiping lord indra because and he gave so many different arguments it's by karma me mamsa by our fruit of activities and our past karma that we're getting the grains and we're getting we don't need to worship uh indra to get that benediction so ultimately krishna convinced nanda maharaj and the cowherd man seven year old boy he convinced them that uh 
to worship Indra was unnecessary, but that we should worship Govardhan Hill. Because Govardhan Hill is supplying so many wonderful things for the residents of Vrindavan. And so Nanda Maharaj asked, well, how do you want us to worship Govardhan Hill? And Krishna said, you make preparation of puri, rice, dal, halava, and all kinds of milk sweets and offer it to Govardhan. Of course, Krishna ate it all and offer it to the Govardhan Hill and then distribute all this prasadam uh, to all types of living entities, including the dogs, including the cows, including everyone. So, uh, of course, also circumambulate Govardhan Hill uh, and uh, make a huge celebration. So they were getting ready uh, to worship Govardhan Hill and Indra heard that number one, they were giving up his worship and number two, they were worshiping Govardhan Hill and following the instructions of this seven-year-old boy and he was not very happy being a little bit puffed up, he was blinded to see that Krishna was the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And he thought that he was so powerful. Bhagavad Gita tells us, you have a right to perform your prescribed duties, but you're not entitled to the fruits of your activities. Neither should you be attached to not doing your prescribed duty. But you should perform one's prescribed duty. Not with the mood of, I'm so special. I remember we were doing some yoga studio and one lady in San Diego at a yoga studio, uh, I asked her what her name was. She was the owner of the studio. She said, my name's Melissa, but you can call me Special Melissa. And I thought, you know, nowadays, someone has an impediment you don't have the proper uh, 10 fingers and 10 toes. Oh, they're special. They're very special. Special Joey or special. But she was thinking special Melissa because I'm not just Melissa. Melissa, I'm a very special, powerful, so Indra was thinking in this way, I'm special Indra. And who is Krishna? He's a seven-year-old boy. Why are you listening to his philosophy and arguments? He's got nothing to say. So uh, Indra, out of his anger, called for the Samvartaka cloud. And when the Samvartaka cloud came, he instructed that personality, you go and create chaos, create great misfortune and torrents of rain and uh, difficulties for the residents of Vrindavan. So he went uh, the Samvartaka cloud and caused so much problem for the residents of Vrindavan. Torrents of rain and 
all kinds of hurricane and difficulty, almost like what they get in Florida these days. Worse than the Florida hurricanes. And uh, the residents became frightened. But they were praying to Krishna, Oh, my Lord, please help us. Please give us shelter. So the little seven-year-old boy with the left finger, pinky finger on his left hand, he lifted the Govardhan Hill and summoned everyone to come and take shelter under that hill like an umbrella. And it says that he lifted the Govardhan Hill like a child would pick up a mushroom. In his Upanishad, Srila Prabhupada explains, Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He, is, uh, he has all six qualities in full. Aismaryasya, Samagrasya, Viryasya, Yashasa, Sriya. He's all strength. He has all uh, knowledge. Aisvaryasya is all beauty. Viryasya, Yashasa, Sriya. So many qualities Krishna has. And Krishna, while lifting to lift Govardhan Hill, which is a humongous mountain, if you go to India, go over on hill today, who can lift a hill, a mountain? And Prabhupada said that Krishna never had to practice weightlifting in order to lift Govardhan Hill. He didn't do any squats or what do you call curls or any of this. Everyone's engaged in lifting weights so they can lift a bigger weight. I think in one story, Prabhupada told how if you want to lift a bull, you carry that bull every day from the baby cow, every day. And eat. by the time the bull is grown, you'll still be able to lift it because you're lifting every day. But Krishna never had to practice this weightlifting, power lifting to live Govardhan Hill. He was a seven-year-old boy. I have grandson that's six, tiny, 40 pounds. And Krishna lifted Govardhan Hill for seven days and seven nights. He gave the residents uh, the shelter of the Govardhan Hill. So Indra, seeing that, hearing that, seeing that, all the residents were protected by Krishna and understanding Krishna is no ordinary boy. He summoned the Sambhartaka cloud to back off, to withdraw the torrential rains and the terrible storms. So the Sambhartaka cloud relented, came back, pulled back. And Indra at the time, he became very remorseful. And he begged Krishna for forgiveness and glorified Krishna as the supreme person, the all-powerful personality of Godhead. This is our position. Just like Arjun, without Krishna, he had no power. Uh, without Krishna, we have no power. Sometimes they try to the impersonalistic class of men worship the demigods to get some benediction, just like the cowherd men. 
they wanted the benediction of uh, and to thank Indra for the uh, uh, hopeful hoping for a, a f new year of great crops and and great grazing for the cows but Yasmin to stay Jagat to stump this is coming from Lord Krishna we're thinking people are thinking nowadays whoever I get into office oh they'll give me great opportunity we'll have great cash crop next year if our governor gets in now that so-and-so is the president everything will be smooth but we see that not a blade of grass moves without Krishna's sanction without Krishna's approval and you put some rascal as president and all he can do is cause chaos and destruction put some rascal they put up some commercials on TV and you didn't even know who you they wanted you to vote for because the, because the whole commercial was about governor so-and-so is such a criminal and a debauchee that he stole this he pilfered that he embezzled funds paid for by the uh, voters for the other candidate that he didn't even have to say that he was going to do anything good he just had to tell you how terrible your last governor was all the troubles that he caused for you and that was their their advertisement for voting and I think he won the returning governor lost in this particular I don't know what state it was in I can't remember but this is the nature of the material world a rascal chooses another rascal just like Archida couldn't give class today because of his slight crippled situation so he picked another cripple the blind leading the blind. cripple taking over for the cripple the blind leading the blind <laughs> in Srimad Bhagavatam it stated Natevidu Swargagatim hi Bishnu Durashaya Yebahi Artamanina Antanya Tandair Upaniyamanas Te Pisa Tantriam Urudamni Badha. People don't know the ultimate goal of life is Krishna, Vishnu. And therefore they engage in so many mundane activities to try to find happiness and to try to make themselves uh, more powerful. And it's actually the blind leading the blind to go fall into a ditch. Te pisa tantriyam urudamni bhadha. So therefore, devotees, we don't, we aren't the blind following the blind. We are following the sightful, Srila Prabhupada. Krishna Swadamo Bhagate Dharma Janadi Bisaha. Kolona Samdusha Mesha Purnarko Dunodita. After the departure of Lord Krishna to his own abode, he took with him knowledge and light and everything beautiful but persons who have lost their light shall get 
great light from this Srimad Bhagavatam. She'll get their light from the incarnation of Lord Krishna, the Srimad Bhagavatam. Srila Prabhupada, he so kindly gave us this Srimad Bhagavatam to study and imbibe in, in our lives. And we are following the light, Srila Prabhupada, Srimad Bhagavatam, Lord Krishna. And by following that light, Asatoma Sat Kamaya Tamasomam Jyotirgama Mityumam Amritam Gamaya Asatomam Sat Kamaya. Stop following ignorance. Don't follow the blind man. Asatomam Sat Kamaya. Follow the truth. Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, Srila Prabhupada. Uh, Asatoma Satkamaya Tamasoma Jyotigama. Give up the Tamasa, the darkness, the foolishness. Jyotirgama. Come to the light. Mityumam. Give up death. Amritam Gamaya and become deathless because we are souls part and parcel of Govardhan Adari Krishna who lifted Govardhan Hill his servant we are deathless even devotee passes away he has gone to another place to engage in, to take up where he left off. If we were 50% Krishna conscious, we'll be born in a Vaishnava family to take up our 50%. If we were 100% pure devotee like Srila Prabhupada, then one can go to the spiritual world or like Srila Prabhupada, go to preach in other planets. And maybe we get the opportunity, one devotee once approached Srila Prabhupada and said, sometimes Srila Prabhupada, we're thinking that we'd like to go to other planets and preach with you. And Prabhupada said, that is pure devotion. That Srila Prabhupada has gone to another planet to preach, we want to join him and engage in that preaching mission of Srila Prabhupada. We don't need for ourselves to go home back to Godhead. I was often, even in the hospital, I was wondering. They told my son, I don't know if we can keep the blood inside of him. And I was thinking, what am I going to do? I get tired with the chamara after 10 minutes. I don't think I could do chamara all day, every day. I don't think I'm qualified to join Lord Krishna. So I was praying, let me join Srila Prabhupada somehow or other. Even I'm not qualified, fine. Take birth in a poor family that's not even Brahmins. Somehow meet Srila Prabhupada again and engage in his service. Here, the glorious pastime of uh, the lifting of Govardhan Hill. And this is our position. We're not so great. We've only spent few years practicing Krishna consciousness. We're still attracted to this material world. But if we gain some attraction to hearing the pastimes of Lord Krishna, like this Govardhan Puja, 
and we engage in the service of our spiritual master by uh, pushing on his movement, giving people the opportunity for Krishna Prashad and uh, Srila Prabhupada's books. Lord Krishna himself, when he was instructing his father and the cowherd men how to worship Govardhan Hill, one of the points was give prasadam to everyone. Give prasadam to the cows, give prasadam to the dogs, give prasadam to the chandals. And that is our mission, following the order of Giri Govardhan, Govardhan Adari, distribute prasadam to everyone, chandalas, dogs, especially people. Give them the opportunity of eating Krishna prasadam. Ultimately, they'll give up their uh, demonic activity of eating uh, so many abominable things. And it's the beginning of their devotional service if they eat Krishna prasadam. Give people Krishna prasadam, they'll be blessed. Their physical body will get a huge blessing of being Krishna eyesed. So in this way, give up the dark and go to the light, the light of Krishna consciousness. Krishna is not just the light. The light is emanating from that person, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Krishna. And if we uh, sincerely and seriously study his pastimes and engage in his service, we will be uh, able to come to the light. Uh, what does that say on the cover of BTG? God it is light, nations is darkness. Go to the light? Doesn't say go to the light. Where there's Godhead, there's, say that again in English. The whole thing. Godhead is light, nations is darkness. And where there's Godhead, there's no nations. So this Srila Prabhupada had put on the cover of his every BTG, Back to Godhead magazine. So Srila Prabhupada wanted us Study these stories, Krishna pastimes, not from the Mayavadi, from Srila Prabhupada, from the pure devotee of Krishna. Stories that are from ancient Hindu culture, if we didn't hear it from the spiritual master, we don't know. Sometimes devotees tell stories. I don't know exactly where they got even Druta Karma Prabhu. Where did you get that story? He asks. The story has to be from Srila Prabhupada's books. Krishna book, Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, Chaitanya Charitamrita. Otherwise, we can't be certain who's translated, where it's come from. Even on the internet, if you look up the story of Govardhan Hill, they have the folklore of the, or the, uh, what do they call it? Huh? Mythology of the lifting of Govardhan Hill. They think it's a myth. Therefore, one has to hear these stories from the pure devotee, only from the pure devotee and study them 
very carefully so that one can uh, keep them in one's consciousness. So now, unless we have any discussion, we're going to worship Govardhan Hill and Bhakta Brad will lead the kirtan followed by our uh, Gauranga Prema. And uh, we will circumambulate the great Govardhan Hill that Lord Krishna lifted and we will distribute, get the prasadam and distribute the prasadam from the Govardhan Hill and we'll chant the Vedic hymns, the Hare Krishna mantra and worship Govardhan Hill. So any questions or discussion? You ready? What? 810. Okay, any questions? I never asked that. You've got to have a question because I'm never going to ask that again. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh. Ask the question, I'll repeat it. And so I'm surprised, I'm surprised that the residents of Vrindavan were actually doing a puja for Indra that didn't have anything to do with Krishna to begin with. So if you could shed any light on that. The reason that they were uh, engaged in this worship was Krishna's pastime. This is Krishna's pastime and this is what Krishna wanted to happen. So the residents of Vrindavan, although they're pure devotees of Lord Krishna, they were even thinking Krishna was an ordinary boy. Of course, after they saw him defeat so many demons and perform so many Herculean activities, wonderful activities, they started to think maybe he's some demigod. Maybe this is maybe Krishna is some special demigod. So this is Krishna's pastime. They were engaged in the Vedic rites and some of the Vedic rites and rituals, they worship the demigods. Uh, it's not Krishna conscious, but it's Vedic. Therefore, we're not just Vedic, we're Krishna conscious. Prabhupada called this the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. We don't just follow the old tradition, just like worship. I think yesterday was uh, Diwali. And for us, is the holiday is Govardhan Puja. I think the day before, a few days ago, was Kali Puja, or one of those days. Where, huh? Yesterday? How do you know? Yesterday was Kali Puja. So, we're not engaged in the worship of Kali Ma. Sometimes we go to yoga studios and they chant, Ma 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 ma. I couldn't even under what. What are you chanting? One Mataji, one big at, at a Kali Puja. She was chanting a Vedic mantra. Indian lady, one two one two one two one two. So I asked somebody, what's the mantra that she's chanting? He said that wasn't a mantra. She was chanting one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. To try to get us to meditate or do something. It was a program that Temple Bhajan Band went to play, but first they were doing their puja. So 
so many pujas kali puja kali ma even it was one of our we did a birthday party temple bhajan band 10 days ago and he said please chant kali chant ma kirtan as much as possible so we thought ma kirtan i know what he means so we chanted jai radhe jai radhe radhe that's our ma kirtan not this uh kali ma or shiva trayambakam yajamahe sugandhi pustivardanam ah uh, you know these are some mantras of the impersonal class and our business is to worship krishna but we may know somehow i learned trayambakam yajamahe sugandhi pustivardanam urva how's it go kima bandanam mityor mukshiyam amritat om namah shivaya isn't it some mantra about lord shiva somehow being like a cucumber i'm not sure exactly what it means so we may know the vedic mantras and the vedic rites but our business is krishna puja we're not involved in kali puja unless they invite us to chant hari krishna at a kali puja then we go to kali puja otherwise we're not worshiping kali ma we're not worshiping indra we're not worshiping uh usually they start kirtan in the yoga studios first you worship ganesh gam ganapata ye namo namaha they asked prabhupada if they could worship ganesh one sanyasi and he said prabhupada said when you are collecting and donating to me One hundred thousand dollars a day, wasn't it? One hundred thousand dollars per day. Then you can worship Ganesh. Ganesh worship. So we're not concerned with these worship of the demigods. We're only concerned with worshiping Krishna. Yasmin to stay, jagat to stay. supply food to the stomach and all the limbs become i asked the doctor how can this wound on my foot close he said only by good nourishment you have to eat plenty of protein he's vegetarian himself dr suzuki not exactly krishna conscious but he said you eat tofu and uh protein vegetarian products and that will help with the healing nourishment so when one nourishes the provides food to the stomach all the limbs become nourished ultimately so by worshiping krishna yasmin to stay jagat to stay all the demigods including indra become satisfied all glories to sri guru and goranga now let's worship govardhan hill govardhan puja go they used to you know they used to sing in the guru kul my kids would come home every day especially around govardhan if you neglect to worship the hill you will be how's it go you'll be bitten by the snake then govardhan puja govardhan okay let's practice that song later after the kirtan all glories to sri guru and goranga
Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale